Now, Big Brother is a reality show where contestants are brought together in one, one house or one apartment. Now, in this particular apartment where these contestants would be, there are cameras everywhere. What this means is that everything that you do has been videoed and watched live all over the world. Whether you are doing something public or private, everybody is looking at you. This is so interesting. But the very first day that I watched this program, something came into mind, and that is Hebrews chapter 4, verse 13. It says, Nothing in all creation is hidden from God's sight. Everything is uncovered and laid bare before the eyes of Him to whom we must give account. This is very serious. Just as contestants in the Big Brother show are seen and watched by people all over the world, the Bible says there is nothing hidden from the eyes of God. God sees everything that you do with your life. God sees your hard work. God sees your pain. God sees the injustice being done to you. God sees exactly what you are going through. He sees how you are trying to help people who are in need. He sees how you are doing everything in your power to stay pure. God sees everything because the Bible says everything is uncovered and laid bare before the eyes of him to whom we must give account to. Understand that we are going to give account to God and that God sees everything. Don't worry about what people are saying or doing to you because God sees it all. On the day of accountability, God would vindicate you and you will be blessed with the kingdom above. But you must also understand that God sees all the evil that you do. He sees all the bad things that you do and say. He knows every secret in your life. He says in Revelation chapter 22 verse 12, I am coming soon and my reward is with me and I will give to everyone according as his work shall be. He knows your works. He sees your works and he's coming to judge your work. Do you have any good work that would earn you a place in his kingdom? Today, the good news is you can come to him and he would accept you and wash you with the blood of his son. Let me pray with you. Father, because you cease it all, we surrender every evil to you. You already know all our sin. You already see all our sins. Today, we confess them to you. Have mercy on us and fill us with your spirit so that we will live lives that will bring glory to your name. In Jesus Christ's name, amen. May God bless you, my dear friend, and do have a blessed day. Shalom.